you know, <coughs> it's me, your boy, K. Samson. I have something special for us today. You know, be mindful and be careful of people because, believe me, there are many people up there who have sold their soul to the devil. <laughs> you know, there's something that I saw yesterday on TikTok that make me to do or to share this video with us, that make me to do this video. You know, the truth is this, a lot of people have sold their soul to the devil. It was before that I do used to say that uh, many people, some people don't know what they are doing. Some people don't know that the evils that they are doing, uh, the things that they are doing is evil, is bad. Believe me, I have finally come to figure out that many people up there have automatically, not that someone convinced them, not that someone, because of the root of money, have made a lot of people so their soul to the world, to the devil. <laughs> <laughs> you know, do you know what, what one of my master tell me? He says something. <laughs> I love wickedness. I love doing wickedness. When I look at him, I said, <laughs> only God knows how you will end. <laughs> when he tell me I love wickedness, I love it. I look at him and it's not wrong because by their fruit, their action, their attitudes, you will know what they are loving doing. What am I trying to say is this, be careful, because there are many people around us who have already decided to follow devil. The way we choosing ones decided to follow Christ. There are a lot of people up there who are no longer ashamed. <laughs> you know, there's one, one Ghanaian guy who was making a video on TikTok. The guy just write CCC on his forehead and said, if you are ready to come, if you are ready to sow your soul, come and do it. Come, come and join us. If you are ready to sow your soul, come and join us. I look at the person that is selling the soul. Even the soul, devil have even rejected it. <laughs> Believe me. He was just, uh, you know, doing the talk live, live screaming. I look at the one who was saying, if you want to come and sow your soul, come and, and, and sow your soul to the, to the devil. Whatsoever you want, whatsoever you need, you will have it. Imagine someone who sow his soul to the devil and is telling the rest of people, come now. Whatsoever you desire, devil will give it to you. Whatsoever you want, you will have it. And I look at the person. Even the soul did this person have, I'm sure even the devil is tired of using it. <laughs> Believe me, because there are some people you, you will see, you know that it is the root of money. It is money who have already convinced them. Because the truth is this, let me just be, be, be realistic with us. No matter whom you are, no matter where you come from, I, mean, I know that this will not change the fact that someone who has already made his or, his or her heart to follow the devil, this will not make them to change, or this will not change their attitudes, or this will not make them to do it, not to do what they love in doing. I'm not against them doing what they, they feel like doing because the Bible has also made it clear. It says, choose these days whom you will serve. But as for me and my household, we will do what? We will serve the Lord. So what am I trying to say is this. No matter what devil give you, you will surely do what? He will surely collect it from you. And the worst part of it is that devil cannot give you money. It can't give you things. Let me, let me elaborate on this before majority of people up there make the worst mistake of their life. Listen, the way devil do all these their riches, that devil give you money, give you this, is, is one. If devil give you money, he don't give you money. He do what? He draw the weight that is ahead of you. It draw it so close that you enjoy the weight. That's why you see a lot of people, young boys these days now, you will see them, they will, they will have excess money. You know, people will know them. They will have all sorts of cars, you know, chill off, do all sorts of Gucci. Before you know, within five to six years, seven years, they will just go down and start from afresh again. Because if they will give you weight, he do what he 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 he, 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 he lay another poverty ahead of you. You have say if devil give you wealth, if he draw, you know that he give you. It is what God have given to you because devil don't have anything that he create. He don't have anything that he give. What, what people don't understand that the 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 things that devil can give you is is steal, kill, and destroy. So when devil give you his steal, 
something from you. He killed you and destroyed you. Why? Because the moment he draw that blessing so close to you, you will just enjoy it and become broke. You know, there was a discussion that me and my brother was, you know, discussing one day. So I was just, we were just making a you know, discussion. I said, do you know that sometimes it is good for you to hustle with your sweat? Mostly if, if, if you are in abroad or you are in this. Why? Because think about it. Many people whom we have heard their name, but today, majority of them whom we do used to hear their name, do all sorts of things, they are nowhere to be found. Because that money you are rushing to get, you will do anything, you will enter any places, you will involve yourself, you, will, you sow yourself, your soul to the devil just because of word. Count it a, what, a few years. That person, just look at some people around you, whether they are a musician, whether they are artists, the moment they are not able to offer the sacrifice that the devil requires from them, that weight will start to go. Either one pain, one trouble, one situation to another will start to occur that will lead them to, to get to the bro. I have seen a lot. Not that I'm saying this in order for me to put fear on you, but the real truth is this. Devil can never give you something in exchange of what, in exchange of nothing. Devil will give you you know, we give you money, but it will never give you peace. That's why, if you see a lot of wealthy people today who sold yourself to the devil, don't just. That's why I, 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 I want to urge you: don't just see someone who is rich and start to pray, God bless me the way they are blessed, because you don't know what they are passing through up there. You don't know what majority of them are passing through. <laughs> one day, one of my master tell me a word. He said something. I have made the worst mistake of my life. I look at him. I said, yes, I can see it all over you. Why? Because the wickedness you are doing to your workers, even the devil will not give you peace. Because you can't treat human as, uh, as if they are nothing and you'll be expecting to have peace around. You may have money, but it will be impossible for you to have peace. So what am I trying to say is this. There are many people who have sold their soul to devil in different angles. We can see, we can see now the reason why we have a lot of what divorce on the planet Earth today. I can't mention the word, but the majority of us can see if we if venture you are in Europe, mostly in Europe, in, in what in, in this Western world, you can see the reason why we have a bunch of divorce. You know, I, I, I checked the rate of divorce in Nigeria. The people who applied for divorce in Nigeria yesterday, there were we, only one state, there were over 4,000 word people who applied for this between these two months, January, February, this 2023, 4,000 people. What does that mean? Devil is already working. It's already destroying a lot of people without them being aware. So what am I trying to say is this. Be what? Be vigilant. Don't let people who have sold their soul tell you, you know, this is the way to make money easy. Join us. Because they will never tell you the secret. They will never reveal the secret to you. Because the majority of them want you to join them to suffer what they are suffering. Remember, bless me. God bless you.